Cornhole boards are a super fun, easy summer project and I've built thousands of them. So I thought, why not bring the people three levels? Let's go! I'm Jordan, I'm gonna be building the basic cornhole set. Uh, all you need is half inch plywood, some two by fours, and what are those bolts called? Carriage bolts, yeah, let's get it. Got all my pieces cut it, and then off camera I went ahead and sanded them down. It's a lot easier to sand them when they're all separate. So now we're gonna assemble the base. What we're gonna do is basically just a simple butt joint. Make a nice frame, it'll be like that. Ply will go on top of it. Legs will, we have to do a little more to the legs, but you'll see what we do there. Let's do it. Yeah. frame. Yeah. So now we got cut top for it, the legs for it, paint it, and throw it back. Let's do it. So you're probably thinking, whoa, Jordan, what the heck? This is a beginner build. Why are you using a track saw on a five thousand dollar table saw? Well, you can buy these at any of your local box stores, already cut down if you don't have access to the tools. So to lax people of the internet, they're gonna be like, well, beginner, you can go attach the top, just kind of face screw it down, quick and dirty. Um, there's different ways you can do it. You could probably glue it and brad nail it, but I'll just probably put a screw like one in here, one in the middle, and the end, same thing, just around. And then the reason I'm doing putting this on first, it's gonna be easier to cut the circle and the plywood because it's gonna be elevated. That way I don't have to like hang it out here. It's gonna give me a nice sturdy work surface. We'll do that, attach the legs, paint it, and yeah. Yeah. What's going on? We got a hole. So much dust. Uh, anyways, got a hole. We're gonna make the legs now. We gotta nick off some of this because I don't work like that, you know? Yeah, cornhole board. So now all I gotta do is just paint it, um, a little sanding, touch up work there, and then we'll be good to go. So you'll see this at the end of the video. Let's check on what Sam's doing. For the intermediate project, we're gonna take the same materials that Jordan used and just step it up a little bit with some of the techniques. We're gonna plane and joint those boards first, then we're gonna do a couple little joinery techniques just to clean things up a little bit, and before you know it, we'll have a cornhole board. So for my project, I'm going to be using the plan that John and Brad made. God, it must have been like three years ago now. Brad and John hung out and they made this. They also made- Oh! Nipsey, come on man, I'm filming. Anyway, John went down to Brad's house and they made cornhole and ladder golf. There's some videos, they're really weird, they're really old. I recommend you go watch them and see how cringy they are. They're fun. But we have the plan from that. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing as that because it's a great intermediate project. So the first step, we need some two by fours. Conveniently two by fours right there. Yeah. All right, let's cut some wood. So the next step in this process is we have to put a rabbit or cut the corner off of the pieces. So to do that, we need that depth of that rabbit to be the exact thickness of the plywood that we're gonna use for the top. Here's a cutoff of that piece. It may actually be the piece I use. It's theoretically half inch, but sometimes plywood's like, you know, it might be like 
21, 30 seconds or like something weird. So I always like to just hold the piece up next to it and then, you know, while the, while the saw's off completely, you can run it up next to it and just make sure that you're perfectly in line with that before you go ahead and start your cut. Just a tip. All right, as you just saw, we did some mitering. We did some awesome stuff. So, I did a little dry fit off camera with this strap clamp. These things are great for this kind of stuff, just to hold everything together and uh, kind of see where you're at. It's basically just a ratchet strap. So, as you can see, I'm pretty happy with my miters there. They look nice and tight. Now we're gonna glue them together and then we're going to put some screws in. Plans, I believe, call for a two and a half. So we'll find some two and a half screws and we'll put those in. I laid out little marks on the sides already for where I'm gonna pre-drill them. I'll pre-drill everything now, take it apart, put glue on it, put it back together, and I'll screw it together. Okay, so we've screwed together the, the rectangle a little bit, and uh, you just saw me do the roundovers for the feet so that they can fold. Uh, I just laid out the marks to cut off the angle for the legs. It says where you can plan how to do it. I don't know what the angle is, but it gives you kind of a better way, in my opinion, to uh, set that angle. So if you guys want to make this plan, make sure you're down in the description checking out the plans. Anyway, let's cut these down, and then all that's left is to put the panel in cut the hole in the panel. We're gonna use a big hole saw bit for that, so that should be fun. And then I think we're gonna paint some stuff on it. Spice it up a little. Spice, spice. That's not right. How did I screw this up? Don't answer that. I thought the angle looked a little steep. Remember I said that looks really steep and you're like, that's what the plan says. It is what the plan says. Is it 12 inches from the top? No. What is it? Under. Oh, damn it. I didn't do it exactly as the plan says. It's 10 and a quarter from the center of the hole. Not, both measurements aren't from the end. Is it salvageable or did I f*** it completely? Yeah, f*** it completely. This is why we need reading lessons. We could just lie and say it's a feature, that, that way they dig in when the bags hit it. The, remember kids, the best part. Hi John. Those look wrong. They are. Also looks like Ian's need to work on some more skills. So projects like this, the three level series, are something that is meant to show off multiple levels of skills. If you haven't noticed, we've got a bunch of these because we love to be able to hit everything from beginner, intermediate to professional skills, which is why I'm super pumped that Skillshare is once again sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of courses in a variety of different types. You can learn everything from photography to videography to graphic design to music production. Myself and my team use the platform a lot, especially the guys that are working on the back end of stuff. There's so many useful courses and different topics that we find ourselves always finding the answers we need for our stuff on Skillshare. Recently, one of the courses that we're loving right now is video for Instagram, how to tell an engaging story in one minute. It's helped us recently grow our IG following. And because Skillshare is so awesome, they wanna give the first thousand people to use the link in my description, a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership, which is amazing. After the free trial, it's only about 10 bucks a month, which is super affordable and definitely worth it. If you want to continue working on being awesome, getting better at being awesome at awesome stuff, check out Skillshare. I got a link down in the description. And now let's get back to these uh, slightly above awesome cornhole boards. Let's go. What are you doing over there? Change your blade, because it's time my friends, to make the panel, the top part. So, put a plywood blade back in the table saw, and then we'll cut down the panel and uh, get it fit. Good 
Damn, son. We have to drill a hole on it now. I feel like you need a driver's license to use this thing. It just has so much f***ing, oh my god, almost died. All right. The last thing to do to wrap this thing up is add your favorite sports team logo. All right, so for my board, we're gonna do what's absolutely necessary to be called a professional, right? Excessive joinery, incredibly overused materials, um, a bunch of obscenities, and it's gonna go whoop -ha! Let's go. Hola, amigos and amigas. This is my new joiner. There she is. So because we're going pro level on my build, we're going to be using two by tens. I always find it comical because absolutely nothing about what I do is pro. The whole point of the series is to show three variations of the same project at three different levels, but everyone gets all fussed up with the name pro. So as much as I hate and despise using pine in any regard for anything, it's the right thing to use for this project. So that's what we're gonna use. I got two by tens so I can get a four inch apron around the entire outside of my board. Um, and that'll be in a plan. There's plans available for everything. Plan to plan, plan, plan. Now listen, I just bought this joiner on Craigslist and it didn't have the guard. We're getting it, but I still need to join things. Don't run your joiner without a guard. Do as I say, not as I do. Let's go. As I stated earlier, we are going to use an incredibly unnecessary joint, the box joint. Why, you ask? Why the hell not, people? That's why. All right, so I am going to glue up my bottom. We're doing an inset panel. I'm gonna cut that panel with a router after we get it together. Come together. If you're wondering why I'm using a box joint, it's because a can can can. It's stronger. But John, a miter joint's far superior. <laughs> so we're out of clamps and we're only a little bit squirrely. I'm gonna sand these up really fast and then we're going to route our panel groove, chisel them out, and then I'm bringing in the big guns to help with my top because we're getting pretty wild with this concept that I have. And by big guns, I mean the CNC Cowboy. Howdy. So we're down yonder in the CNC shop. I got the CNC cowboy on this. Like I said, we're going over the top with unnecessary methods, materials, and all kinds of stuff for this cornhole board. Miss Piggy, take it away. I would embed the, see, the LEDs first, um, but because we don't have them, we're gonna go ahead and add the colored parts to the logo, and then we'll do the CN, the, 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 the damn LEDs when they come in. America, 
You guys both look super sad. <laughs> it got really hot really fast. All right, so I went out and found a bunch of very expensive LEDs that run on batteries. You would think that that would be something that the world would have much more of. So we're now going to get these embedded into all the grooves we put in here and then pour some opaque white resin around them so they'll, they'll, they'll come to life with awesomeness. So we're gonna feed these in there. So, what I'm going for here is I just want this, we just need a barrier and a wall. So we're using Tyvek tape. I'm just sitting it on something for now. I can come back and then tape up the rest to keep a nice dam in there. It's a little squirrely, but not the squirreliest. And then I'll be able to flip it over and work on it. So we let the epoxy dry overnight. Everything's looking pretty solid. It's not soft. So we're gonna try to get this metal off in some clean way. Make sure my stupid ass doesn't slice through this cord here. That went so much better. All right, to mount the legs, this is a system I've used for a long time. I've got an oversized leg here. I went and found center, and I drilled an inch and a half down, so it was, I mean, it rounded the top as you just watched. I line it up at the bottom, and this is about a one inch spacer from the top. That'll give me clearance. And then mark it. Drill my hole. You swing perfectly now without hitting into anything. Now, to get my height, I use this trick. Paint can puts me right about 12 inch mark to the back of the board, which is right here. Boop. Which is exactly what we want. I then take the bolt hanging out over the edge of the table. Then I can just mark it there, take it off and match the rest. It should all be perfect to that. We're gonna hit the letter it with some spray and then we'll roll the outsides. This should uh, hold down the tape and give us nice crisp lines, as well as give us a barrier to roll up against and then we'll get these boards done. And by the power invested in me, let us spray. Let's see how they work. I'll give you the honors. Hi. So this turned out awesome. Appreciate you for tuning in. If you want to see more Three Levels Project, we got a bunch queued up for you right here. Or you can leave a comment down below and we might build yours next.